who are the Freemasons today? What kinds of secrets do they treasure? And how does one simply become a Freemason? We're here to set the record straight. I'm Andrew Ganway, and welcome to Masonic Youth Television. Today we're going to have a lineup of multiple questions about what Masonry is in, in America. Today, we're going to start off, what do you think Masonry is? so much disinformation out there about what we do and who we are. What is Freemasonry? Freemasonry, if you look at the founding of America, everything's got Freemasonry. Symbols everywhere. These guys are these, these guys are going to take over the world. That's what it is. It's all about conspiracy. And all they want to do is control everything. Everything. Be on the lookout. Or people that have just been taken in by um, all the conspiracy theories and they really don't know. Well, to me, masonry is, you know, it's several things. You can give the, the, the classical answer of it's a... Uh, a school of thought, you know, that uses um, imagery and, and allegory to help one define their own personal moral code uh, and how to act and behave within society. Uh, Jeff Gandaway, I'm a speaker on Jeff the Gandaway. Masonic Youth TV. I'm One of the things that uh, was a question that came to us was, what made you that, uh, decide to become a Mason? Well, I come from a Masonic family. My grandfather was a Mason. My father was a Mason. And to me, it is an organization built around one idea that good men, when brought together, can achieve more than they could as, as individuals. We said that the, the true Masonic conspiracy is that all people should be free and educated. At one point, Masonry, it, it was the working tools that gave a generation to question what was going on in the world around them and say, wait a minute, we actually can be free and do what we want to do. And they went forward and, and, and created a nation, essentially. And we're living in a society now where everything's instant gratification and everything is, is just, it's now, now, now. I don't want to wait for it, I want it now. Um, masonry has taught me that things that are worthwhile take time and you have to, you have to wait for them. Because when you realize that you're all on the same level as friends and, and family, you can, you can, you have a better understanding of each other, I think. You know, big house, fancy cars, and things like that. Go back to what's important, and that's more what's in here than what's out here.
My name is Stephen Smith. I am a mason here at Cornerstone Lodge. I've been a mason here for about two and a half, three years, and I've been loving every minute of it. It's great to get more community involvement. It's good to be involved with just everything that masons do. We do a lot of ph philanthropy, which is a big part of what we do, and also just fellowship and community. It's really nice to be with like-minded people especially the brothers, their families. And it's good to know that no matter where I go in this country, there will always be a home for me, not just here at Cornerstone, but anywhere. Any Masonic Lodge will be happy to take me. So yeah, uh, the little bit of the history of Cornerstone is it got its charter seven years ago. It used to be Southgate Masonic Lodge, as you can see. And it was grouped with another lodge called Mount Hood. The two combined lodges have over a hundred years of combined Masonic history. And it's really cool to know that back before this country was even a country, we had brothers. And to know that George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, great minds and civic leaders were also Masons. So every second Monday we have our stated meeting and we have a dinner before it. We invite any brethren that wants to come for a free meal, bring him, bring his family, and just enjoy the community and fellowship that we provide here at Cornerstone Lodge. Um, every Easter and every Mother's Day we do breakfasts. The deep uh, so there's an old saying, to be one, ask one. If you want to become a Mason, all you have to do is just find a brother and say, hey, how do I become a Mason? That's what I did. I just knocked on the door and I, <laughs> one of my brothers opened the door to me and it was really nice and friend friendly and inviting. I'm Winter Cotter, and this is Masonic Youth Television News. Coming up on June 2nd and 3rd is the Grand Lodge of Oregon Annual Communications, and Masonic Youth Television would love to see you there at, at our information booth. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next week for more, another episode of Masonic Youth Television.